Welcome to another Honeydew live stream. I'm so happy to see you all. Happy weekend. Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a great weekend. Oh my gosh, look at Maple. Look at Maple. She's here for the intro. Hi, Kenzie. Hi, Madeline. Hello, Marigold and Taylor Swift updates. Hello, Lisa and Jake. Jake, I hope your solitaire game was fun. That sounds super fun. I love a good game of solitaire. How's it going? I'm doing good. I just had a burrito <laughs> pretty recently and it was so tasty and I'm feeling good. I also had a vitamin water and I love vitamin water so much. But how's it going? I'm super excited for today's stream because we're going to play a little bit of Animal Crossing and we're also going to start a new Stardew Valley farm which is going to be very exciting. Ooh, you're playing some Animal Crossing? That sounds fun. <laughs> sounds fun. We can play together. Okay, so today I just want to work on this little part of my island over here because, yeah, it's, it's just a little tiny area, but I feel like we need to get it decorated. It kind of leads over to the museum down here, so I think it would be nice. Maybe we, we might have time to decorate the museum. I don't think... I don't think we will, but <laughs> I just want to work on this little transition space and just have some fun, do some island decor. Hi Daisy, hello Anna Cake, how are you? Hi Kira, I'm, I'm doing good. What about you? <laughs> oh, you're demolishing stuff on your island right now? That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Honestly, I love tearing down stuff. <laughs> the chaos of it is just fun. Hello, Michelle. How are you? Happy Sunday. Okay, I'm going to clear out all of these trees first, and then we can go back and just have a fresh canvas and start decorating this little, this little space. Oh, you have a Disney island? That sounds adorable. I have the hair going into my mouth right now. <laughs> I, I have seen a couple of Disney islands. They're always super fun and colorful. Oh, you like sprinkles? Isn't sprinkles Michelle's favorite villager? Hi, Joy. Welcome in. It's good to see you. Happy Sunday. I built like a Disney-inspired castle before in this game. I don't know if you guys remember that video. It was from like a couple years ago. It was before the 2.0 update because we didn't have any of the actual castle items and I made it out of like silos and simple panels. <laughs> if you guys remember when we had to use simple panels. Yeah, it was on Emerald Island. I totally forgot about that castle until I was visiting Emerald recently and I saw it and I was like, whoa, I forgot about this. Hello, Rihanna. How are you? I'm gonna just sell these orange trees and wood. And yeah, I'm too lazy to go inside. <laughs> so I just sell it at the drop box, okay? Hey, she can work fine on a spring island. I feel like Sprinkles has spring energy. Okay, I think I wanna do a little bit of terraforming. That's not the right button. Um, nothing too crazy, but I think it would be cute if maybe there was like a cliff behind the museum. I just stuck the museum here randomly and I didn't think that I was going to leave it here, but I kind of like it being right in front of this beach and just having this little space right next to the resident services. And then my house is back here and I want to make this a um, post office. 
So I think that it's I think it's cute. I think we'll leave the museum here. So how's everybody's weekend? Did anyone do anything fun? I honestly just hung out with my husband. We just we've just been relaxing. I played some Valorant yesterday, so that was fun. Hello, Mickey. How are you? Thanks for tuning in. No, why is it like the worst feeling ever when your shovel breaks <laughs> in Animal Crossing? The struggle's real. Welcome in, everyone. Yeah, I don't have any other plans for the weekend, though. I think I'm gonna do some laundry after the stream. And we have to go get our groceries this evening for the week. Yeah, just like boring adult stuff this weekend. Other than the stream. <laughs> the stream is the fun part of my weekend. <laughs> okay, this is looking cute. I think I'll expand it out this way a little bit. I feel like this is exactly where I had my museum on another island. Maybe I'm just imagining that. But I have like deja vu happening. <laughs> I feel like I have deja vu. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you tuned in. Oh, thanks for hanging out with us, Taylor Swift, even though it's late. <laughs> if you like customize your tool apparently that also repairs it and that's like a trick on how to have an unlimited shovel like you just keep customizing it and it just keeps getting repaired but like you never know when it's gonna break unless you for some reason like kept track of it so I always forget to okay can I please can I please terraform so I always forget to customize it and repair it and then it's just too late. <laughs> yeah, the Taylor Swift, what an honor. <laughs> just casually like, thanks Taylor Swift. <laughs> Glad you like my Animal Crossing Island. <laughs> yes, Jake. <laughs> yes. Hey, Shayna, how are you? Oh, hello? I cannot <laughs> play Animal Crossing. I just pressed the wrong buttons. Okay, wait, none of you guys knew that? <laughs> none of you knew that? That you could customize and repair your tools? <laughs> I never do it because, I, like I said, I just forget and then the tool just breaks and I'm like, oh, I guess I could have repaired that, but... <laughs> well, I'm glad to provide you with the Animal Crossing tips. <laughs> if you guys want to know all the secrets you should go watch chase crossings new ish video i think he uploaded it like a couple like days ago maybe a couple weeks ago i don't know what is time what is time i don't know but it was like a hundred things you should know about animal crossing or something but it was full of some really good tips. Tips and tricks. Yeah, I love him too. <laughs> Sadly, you're not the real Taylor Swift. <laughs> Plot twist. I totally thought you were. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, you're the Taylor Swift in heart. You should do it, Ava. You should get back into Animal Crossing. Hey Kim! How are you? I already have some stuff in my inventory that we can start planting around here. I'm like, should I decorate the museum? I don't know if I have any furniture that would be good for the museum. 
maybe. I'm gonna decorate this cliff up here though. Just some flowers and probably some trees. I went to a treasure island like right before the stream so that I could get more flowers. Because every stream, I just run out of flowers so quickly. I'll put some green mums here. And then I'll put a cedar tree. Maybe a shrub. So nostalgic. Animal Crossing is so nostalgic. And it makes me want to cry. <laughs> it makes me want to cry that this game is nostalgic. Like, every time that I realize that this game came out four years ago, my brain is just like, not working. I'm like, what? How is that even real? <laughs> Hi, Kayla. Welcome in. How's it going? Oh, I used to play the GameCube Animal Crossing. See, nostalgia is so wholesome and like, I love nostalgia, but also it's painful. <laughs> it is pain, like, Please, where, where's the time gone? Okay, I'm just spamming a bunch of flowers, shrubs, and trees up here because it's a pretty small cliff, so there's not really room for much else. I need some more flowers. Hey, Zach, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Every time I say that, I feel like, um, what's her name? Effie from The Hunger Games? Is that her name? She's like, welcome, welcome to the Reapy. <laughs> you played the one on the Wii? Was that Wild World? I played the one on the Wii too. But I didn't really get into Animal Crossing until I played um, New Leaf on my DS. And then I became obsessed. And I've been obsessed ever since. Yeah, I played on the 3DS too. Oh, it was City Folk. <laughs> I posted like a poll on my channel yesterday, like which, asking which Animal Crossing title is everybody's favorite and people are getting heated. Let's just say that people are getting heated in the comment section, <laughs> arguing about which game is the best. It's entertaining. <laughs> it's entertaining, honestly. And then people were mad that I didn't put um, the first Animal Crossing, but I could only put four options. YouTube doesn't let you have more than four options. Yeah, I did get the green mums from um, a treasure island. I just realized that, wait, are green mums the only green flowers? Are they? I think so, that's, I never thought about that. How do you even get green mums? I guess from flower breeding. Yeah, I agree, Jake. <laughs> Except Amiibo Festival. I never played Amiibo Festival. I mean, if I did, I just like have no recollection. Was it with New Leaf? <laughs> I've never played Pocket Camp. I tried it out, but I never, like, I played it for, like, 10 minutes or something and then gave up. Was not enjoying. Okay, I feel like there needs to be a tree, like, maybe right here. No, not right there. Maybe I should give Pocket Camp another, another try. 
I just heard that the microtransactions are like out of hand. <laughs> yeah, why are we finding out all these like Animal Crossing information that we never, never knew? <laughs> yeah, because there's not green lilies or green cosmos. Or green anything. I think it's just the green moms. They're so cute though. They're my favorite flower. So I'm glad I'm glad that they exist. I'm green mom. Green mom. I'm I'm glad that you exist. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm, I'm just talking to my flowers. Not no big deal. Okay, what am I doing? Let's let's place this here. And then I just want to have a cute pathway. You get green moms from breeding purple moms. Okay, that makes sense. I am not good at like color theory. Did not pay attention in art school. <laughs> Does not know anything about color. And I've never really got into breeding flowers in this game either. Because I just go to Treasure Islands. <laughs> if you talk to your flowers, they grow more beautifully. I love that. I've actually heard that. <laughs> yeah, red plus yellow equals orange. <laughs> That's all I know. Hi, Charlotte. Good to see you. Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a great weekend. Getting some rest and taking care of yourself. Let's do like a little squiggle. And then take it this way. What's everybody's favorite color? Mine is green. Like any shade of green, except for lime green. I, I don't really like neon colors. They're just a little much. <laughs> oh, yeah, Michelle. That's not hard to guess. You don't have a favorite? Purple. I've always seen memes about people whose favorite color is purple, like they're over the top about it. I'm not saying it's true, but that's what I've heard. Oh, I love lilac too, though. See, I've never known people whose favorite colors were, was orange. Like, I feel like orange is an underrated color. I love it too. Like, I think it's a really pretty color. I mean, my name is Tiger, so gotta love some orange. Earthy autumnal colors, yeah. I like earthy colors too. Like forest green, even like a dark like orangish brown color. Like I think those are really pretty too. Orange gives you anxiety. Okay, I, that's it's so interesting because I read something about how like different colors can invoke like different moods and feelings and i heard that like this hospital put a bunch of pink or whatever like in their i don't know they painted their walls pink and did a bunch of pink decor but it was actually like causing people anxiety and it wasn't good <laughs> i just i think that's so interesting i feel like i don't know i feel like it would affect people differently depending let me add a green mum here. This is looking cute. Just a little walkway. Maybe we could have a tree here. Blue feels clean and refreshing. I do like blue. I think blue is my husband's favorite color. 
red and yellow can make people feel hungry, which is why so many fast food places use those colors. I never thought about that, but that's so true. Okay, but have you guys seen the memes? I don't know if it's a meme. I guess it's not really a meme, but like the post where they show like all the different color folders and you're like, pick which one, like which subject goes with which color. I always see people arguing on those. I feel like math would be red. <laughs> math would be red for me or yellow. So maybe it makes me hungry. Math is always yellow. <laughs> I feel like I would do like science classes, green. Honestly, I don't remember what I picked back when I was in school. I don't even know if we had folders for each subject, but yeah. <laughs> I feel like I still related colors to them. Let's put some weeds here, but I, I want them to be different than each other. But they keep being the same. <laughs> English would be purple. I could see that. Okay, let's see what kind of furniture that I have. I want to place some items over here. We're just doing a lot of... Um, plants maybe it would be cute to have this little peach chair this is cute even this little peacock chair is cute too maybe a stool history is yellow geography is dark blue math is blue english is red and art is purple very valid very, very valid. I feel like art as purple makes sense to me. It makes sense to my brain. Maybe we do have enough furniture to decorate the museum. We have so much stuff in here. I don't even know what all I have in here. My storage is full. I want some butterflies, though. <laughs> math is definitely blue. See, I feel like for me, math is red or yellow. And I'm leaning towards yellow. Okay, I'm wondering if it would be weird or if it would look too cluttered to have a bench there. I don't think so. I think this is cute. I mean, you can't really see it because of these trees, but I still think it works. I still think it works. And then I want to have the green leaf pile over here. Super cute. And then I'm going to take some of this grass pathway. And I want to make a little like seating spot here with the peach chair, and maybe some other stuff. Yeah, don't forget to like the stream if you haven't already. I would very much appreciate it, and it would help me out a ton. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> you have beef with the color, with the color gray. <laughs> I stopped drinking coffee, like, I haven't been drinking any caffeine recently, but usually I like to get the matcha latte at Starbucks. I don't know how I've survived without caffeine, but honestly it's been pretty, pretty nice not having to rely on it. I'm just a water girly now. Which reminded me to, <laughs> to drink some water. Also, look at the shirt that I'm wearing. It has rock 
raccoons and the moon. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> I think it's cute. I'm wondering if this little tea table might be cute in that area. And we can put some stuff on it. Let's see, what do I have? Oh, like this little bread or a cake. What is this? I don't remember grabbing that ever. <laughs> I love raccoons so much. They're so cute. I feel like I see them pretty often. Yeah, I love matcha. Yeah, Starbucks is just so pricey. I've saved a lot of money not drinking coffee anymore. So I kind of want to do some mixed matchy chairs and stools at this little table. Maybe not that one. Let's see how this looks. Oh, here, I'll do this. No. No, never mind. That's not the right one. I'll try this. I feel like this looks kind of too much. I thought I got the mush tool. Yeah, here it is. And then the peacock chair can come back here. This is cute. Let me start putting some of this stuff on the table. Oh, thank you, Taylor Swift. I'm so glad that you could make it. Ginger, you're crocheting flowers right now. That's like, that's the perfect springtime activity. That sounds super fun and relaxing. I bet they're turning out so cute. I'm gonna put a candle there. This is cute. Everything's kind of like coming off the edges of the table, but it's just gonna have to work. I might move the bread though. Can I not put a custom design like right here? There we go. <gasps> a little crochet bouquet. That sounds adorable. That sounds super adorable. Okay, let's see if we can if we can manage to plant a tree here. Oh yeah. That's amazing. I really did not think that it would fit there. Hello, Selma. No, you haven't missed the Stardew. We're going to do that um, the second half of the stream. So, no worries. We're going to start a new farm. Yeah, some of the grid placements in this game are definitely questionable. For sure. Like the shell fountain. <laughs> the shell fountain, it haunts me. It haunts me. Okay, let's stick some flowers back here. Oh, I guess one flower. And then I wanted to stick a tree here. Just kidding, there's no room here. I'll do a shrub instead. Hello, Jenny. Welcome in. Let's put our peach tree with the peach chair. This is so cute. Okay, that's not, that's not where I wanted you to go. This is fine, I guess. Cute. 
cute. So cute. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Oh, it's because I have a custom design on the ground back here. Let's remove that. There we go. Maple, she's so cute. She's been following me around. She was here at the beginning of the stream too. Photo bombing the intro. And now she's all up in my business in this build. How are you, Jenny? I hope you're having a good weekend. Oh yeah, we have some butterflies and stuff. Those would be pretty cute to add in. Where's that one? Here it is. I love this design. I love this design. It just looks so cute with the butterfly in the middle. Thank you, Michelle. I hope you're having a great day too. I'm gonna add some buttons on the ground and maybe a little, um, some wooden planks, like this. Hello Dylan, how are you? Hi Kezzy, thank you so much. I'm glad that you like it. Oh, uh, no worries Taylor Swift. Taylor Swifty. Okay, let's make a circle here, too. With the grass. It's going good. Thanks for asking, Dylan. So far, we've just decorated this little transitional area coming from the plaza and around this way my house which I'm gonna convert into a post office at some point and we also made this cliff right here behind the museum this is looking pretty cute <laughs> your real name is Layla <laughs> okay <laughs> I kind of like Taylor Swift it makes me feel like we have a celeb in the chat <laughs> Okay, I want more buttons. I want more buttons and shrubs. And then this is gonna lead over here. I don't know, I don't know like what I'm gonna do for the post office yet. I've downloaded some designs for it already, but maybe it would be cute to have some water around here like a little pond of some sort let's see <laughs> Taylor Swift Jr. Why is that actually cute? Okay, something very small like this. Just a little pond. Hello, Lily Mae. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day too. Thanks for stopping by. Oh my, I'm so sorry, bug. I didn't mean to steal your flower. I mean, I did, but like, I didn't. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, I like Taylor Swift. I'm not like the hugest fan of Taylor Swift. I just know like the, the classic hits. And that's about it. Sorry to disappoint. Let's plant some more flowers. Because we can never have enough. 
We just spam them everywhere. This is cute. I think I might try to fix this bread. Or at least turn it like sideways. Yeah, that looks better. Let me put the little chair back. I guess that's where I had it before. That looks cute. This looks cute. You can't really see the peacock chair, but I think it's fine. Plus, if you were to do this, you can kind of see it there, and it looks really cute. I love it. Yeah, same, Madeline. Same. Yeah, some people like really dislike her. I feel like it's a little bit much. Okay, let's do... Let's decorate this little tiny area right here. I already have an idea for it. I'm gonna place all of these right here. And then I want to do some fencing. So let me go grab that. I love decorating in this game. It's so chill and satisfying for some reason. I think I'm just gonna go with the simple wooden fencing. It's my favorite. It is my absolute favorite. Especially on this island, it looks so cute. With all the spring colors. Oh, you think Harvey fits the vibe? Is he over here? He usually hangs out over by the museum. Oh yeah, there he is. Hello. I was thinking of Harvey from Stardew Valley. <laughs> Hello V, thank you. I hope the same for you. I can plant some flowers right here. And maybe put a little butterfly too. I think that would be cute. Let me put these green or pink mums here. And then we have this little butterfly. Okay, it's not super visible with the tree. Oh yeah, you can see it from right here though. That's cute. Oh my gosh, same. It would be so cute if Animal Crossing had strawberries and blueberries. I wish they just had more fruit in general, like even more fruit trees. I wish that there was also specific plants that grew in the sand other than the coconut trees, like specific flowers or just really anything, maybe even shrubs that were just like for the sand is that even realistic though like do things grow in the sand i feel like when i go to the beach i don't really see plants like that but at the same time it would be so cute if we had more stuff to plant in the sand i mean you can plant the regular flowers but they can't grow in the sand banana trees that would be so cute i'm just gonna spam flowers <laughs> what's new actually there we go and then let's get another one of these <laughs> animal crossing needs to take notes from the community i swear like in every stream somebody says like this just amazing idea and i'm like where's nintendo they need to be here taking notes. Okay, I think a tree could be cute right here. It could block a lot of the view and I might remove it, but I'm gonna try it. No, I think this is cute. Ooh, 
I could do a fence right here. We put, I like putting this design under the fence because it's nice and cute. the museum down here sometime and the post office over here and then like we've already decorated so much of my island if you take a look like we've pretty much decorated like this whole part right here I mean there's some spots that need to be decorated still but we're almost already done with almost half of the island Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, <laughs> but almost. I can't even believe it. I think that today is actually like a month since I started streaming again, so that's exciting. I'll show you guys the rest of the island if you haven't seen it before. Over here is the entrance. Super cute. I think the entrance is my favorite part of the island still. It's just so adorable. And then we have a little bookstore. And you can come this way. And this is Maple's house and her little apiary. So freaking cute. I still need to decorate the beach right here. And then we also have this really cute spot. This is like also my second favorite spot, I think. It's just so cute with the bell. And you can come sit over here on this bench. So cute. And then you can come up here and here's Tia's tea shop. I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. I'm so obsessed with it. Crossing Minute, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in everyone. Hello, hello. I'm just giving a quick tour of, of what I've done on my island so far. This is my spring core island called Honeydew. And this is the little shopping district. Super cute. Somebody said it looks like somebody's camping out here for um, for like some like a new product or something at the Nook's Cranny, which I thought was so cute. Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you, Kitty. And this is Edward, our cucumber, and this is Renezme, our gyroid. <laughs> Um, who's who's getting groovy and then up here is the Abel's with a little hat shop I love this island so much and then there's Melba's house the finale <laughs> and that's pretty much all we've done so far I mean it's a lot it's a lot okay thank you Jesse yeah it's Renesme the gyroid oh yeah and there's we also have Charlie the gyroid. I always forget about him because he's kind of in a weird spot, but I'll show. He needs some screen time. He needs some screen time. We haven't seen him in a while. He's always like, he's got the moves. He's got the moves. A strawberry gyroid, that would be so cute. Petition for more gyroids, please. I love them. I, lo I feel like they're so underrated, all of them. I don't know what any of them are called though, except for the, what is it called? Like the Bruce Stroid? <laughs> the Bruce Stroid? <laughs> the Brewster one? That's the only one that I could think of the name. All of the other gyroids, like, good luck. I don't know. <laughs> Charlie is ready to fight. And then this is the area that we worked on today. I just made this little transition from the plaza over to my house. And I made this cute little table. I'm loving this. I think it's cool. I I like this island. Oh, thank you, Sebi. I'm going to time travel really quick because I planted a ton of shrubs and um, I want to see them grown all the way. <laughs> How's everybody's weekend going? Crossing Minute, how was your stream? Were you guys playing Animal Crossing? 
let's just time travel a couple days forward. I'm not gonna go to the 24th again because every stream I time travel to the 24th and it's Kat's birthday and then I feel super obligated to go to her birthday party every time and it's just like it's like the movie um 50 first dates it's like I'm reliving the same day every single day and I'm I'm just going to Kat's birthday party <laughs> I can't keep doing it I can't keep doing it my weekend's going good Jake oh nice I haven't played Dinkum before but it looks really fun I've been good thanks for asking Teardrops on my guitar. That's like the OG Taylor Swift song for me. I love it. I love it. My weekend's going good. I haven't really done much. Like, I cleaned a little bit. Um, what did I do yesterday? Like, what even was yesterday? Um, we just, like, hung out. We, we literally didn't do anything. We've just been inside. It's kind of... A little overcast lately so we haven't really been doing anything outside i've been wanting to go rent a kayak and do some kayaking but every weekend it's like super windy and overcast and just like not great weather for kayaking yeah we've had a lot of storms too sunny do your homework <laughs> i'll be a good influence do your homework <laughs> But also, I, I understand. Okay, let's see how this looks. Oh, it's so much more colorful when all the shrubs are in. It, it's so much more cluttered. I love it. Hello. No. See, I really do feel like I'm living the same day over and over. Like, I time travel. There's a birthday party. My villagers want to leave. <laughs> Audie, I'm going to tell you the same thing every time. No, you're trapped here and you can't leave. If I have to keep living these same days over again, so do you. Okay? She's like, please, I've been living the same five days of April for eternity. And I'm, so, I'm sick of it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good though. I have no idea what I'm going to do for... Oh, uh, hi, Flick. Hello! I have no idea how I'm gonna decorate the museum yet. I think it would be cool to have like maybe a cafe or like a restaurant or something. Cause like usually I just do the normal mu museum <laughs> items like statues or I don't know, like I try to make it look like a research station. But I kinda wanna try something new. There's also all this beach space over here, so maybe it could be like a beach restaurant. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Blathers is, you know, not going to be a museum curator anymore. And he wants to own his own restaurant and become a chef. And I'm supporting him in his dream. <laughs> Good luck, Subby, with your homework. Those orange tables are so cute. I want to use them more often. Which orange tables? Like the actual orange table? See, yeah, like a beach cafe or restaurant. Like, I think it would be so cute. And I was thinking we could do, like, these tables. The pansy tables. Or even these wedding tables are super cute. I don't know. I have no idea. And I want to make my house a post office. Which... By the way, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and customize my house right now because I made it into a log cabin, but it does not have post office energy. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. Yeah, we believe in you, Sebi. Get that homework done. Um, about my home, please. I want to customize it. Okay. Like, which one of these is giving post office? I wish they had more options for the house shape. Hi, Marigold. Welcome back. 
I'm trying to customize my house to look like a post office, but I feel like none of these, none of these are giving post office. I feel like that's why I chose the log cabin because I feel like maybe that could be a post office. I feel like maybe this one could work too. I just don't know. Defo the log cabin. Okay. Let's try it. I see. I just don't know. Like, what are what do I need to like look up like a post office so I can see what it looks like. Post office on Google Images. Yeah, I mean they all just look like a basic building, so. I guess this will just have to work. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the red, like maybe the red can look good. Oh, they have all these. <laughs> they just look like basic buildings. Like none of them, there's not like a distinct look. See, I didn't know, I forgot that they have like different exterior options. So you don't have to just do like the log. <laughs> yeah, like red and green, I feel like give post office vibes. I feel like that looks like a post office, right? Let me test out some of these. Uh, yeah, I think that the little, this red striped roof was the best. The brick exterior works well. Yeah, I think I might go with this. Yeah, choosing the house exterior is like, it's so difficult. Go pink for spring core. Yeah, like we could make it just like a cute spring core post office. That is true. Oh my gosh, no, please. I'm not done. I'm not ready. Hey, Renesme, welcome in. I think I'm gonna go with this. I think I like the red and green. I mean, I can always change it later. I can, all I can always change it later if it doesn't look good. Okay, I think I need to time travel again so I can see what it looks like. So let me do that. A mini car outside? That's a cute idea. Uh, maybe I could get one of the trucks because you can customize them. And maybe I can find like a, a little post office design and make it look like the postal delivery truck. Or something that would be so cute okay let's just time travel one day and while we're time traveling here's your daily reminder to join the discord so that we can hang out after the streams together it's super fun in there <laughs> you should join you should join oh also hydration check Hydration check. Yeah, the little po post person can drive around. Hello, Chonker. <laughs> Love the username. How's it going? Glad you can make it to another stream. Yeah, the Discord is so chill. I love it in there. I'm always lurking about reading your conversations. <laughs> Yeah, you should join Jake. We'd love to have you. Yeah, Maple and Pico look so cute on the title screen. Maple is just like the best. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm working on a really exciting project with a really talented artist. And we're, we're cooking something up for you guys, okay? That's all I'm going to say. And it has to do with Maple. <laughs> Thank you. 
No, we have a new Discord server. Give us a hint. Give us a hint. It's gonna be a, some new, some new merch. But it's gonna be a singular item. Okay, this is. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll fix that later. I mean, I think it looks better than the log cabin that we had before. But, um, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna be wrapping it up on Animal Crossing and switching over to Stardew Valley. And I highly encourage you to stick around, because we're gonna be starting a new farm, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> you can't tease us like this, it's physically not allowed. <laughs> I'm super excited for it because it's not gonna be. Let me put my Joy Cons away. It's not gonna be the typical merch. Something super unique, at least in my opinion. Alrighty, now let me open up some Stardew Valley. I'll see you later, Jake. Alright, how do I work my computer? That's the real question. <laughs> Stardew Valley time. All right. This should be should be working. Let me turn on the audio. I'm just I'm trying to stress you guys out. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> If you make maple merch, I'll die. I love her so much. <laughs> See you later, Jake. See you later. So, I've only had like... Oh, see you later, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swifty. <laughs> Bye. Um, I've only played like one farm. And I was looking at it earlier. My name, My character's name was Tav. And... I was on year three and I played for a really long time, but I abandoned my farm. And now I just like don't even know if I can if I can go back to it. So I want to start a new farm. Especially because now there's the new update. I just I want to start fresh. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And maybe we can play half Stardew Valley on Sundays or something going forward. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, we do need some more members. And by the way, that reminds me of an announcement that I completely forgot to make. So <laughs> first of all, we have memberships on the channel. There's three tiers and you should totally consider joining. It's super cool. You get custom emotes and all kinds of other perks to use. But also, I wanted to start doing something new. So, as you may or may not know, we like to stay hydrated on this channel, so I got this water bottle, and it's completely empty, it's naked, and every for every new member and super chat, I'm going to start adding a sticker to the water bottle, as well as throw you a dance party as, as usual, but I got all kinds of themed stickers, so... We have Animal Crossing stickers, and we also got Stardew Valley stickers. And I will pick a sticker for you and put it on, on the water bottle. And don't worry, if you were already a member and you didn't get to get a sticker, whenever you do the, what's it called, like member for one month or whatever, I'll, I'll put a sticker for you. I'll put a sticker for you. Okay, let's make our person here. Let's make our person here. Lisa, <laughs> thank you for the two months. I will see. I don't think that there's a maple sticker in here. I don't think that there's a maple sticker. Look at this chaotic one though. It says, give me bells or else. And it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me, I want to pick an Animal Crossing sticker for you, Lisa. I have to look through all of them. I want to pick a cute one for you. Oh. <gasps> I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. We love a threatening nook. <laughs> okay, this is the one I'm picking out for you. It's Daisy May. It's so cute. It's so cute. Stardew Valley Sunday. I love that. Yeah, it is such a cute idea. I love putting stickers on water bottles. 
and my water bottle is like empty and so I just thought oh that would be so cute okay let me put it on the water bottle I have to pick a cute spot for it I would just put it here all right Lisa you're on the water bottle as Daisy May <laughs> so cute and now a hydration check <laughs> I think it's cute that her nose is running. I think it's cute. <laughs> Thank you again, Lisa, for being a member. I appreciate you. Hi, Mars, welcome in. Okay, so I wanna do my usual, I wanna do my usual um, pink hair. This isn't even the right, let's see. Let's see. Is there like a cute hair with bangs? Let me make it pink, first of all. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> you have that same sticker? <laughs> okay, where is a good like pink color? Maybe like this? Okay. I don't know which hair to do. I'm so indecisive. <gasps> Thank you, Mars. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, and I can remember like each member from the sticker that's on there. It's wholesome. A wholesome moment. Okay, I think I've cycled through all of these like multiple times. I think I'm gonna choose this one. And what should we name our farm name? Favorite thing, cats. For sure, cats. Hello, welcome in. You're just in time for some Stardew Valley. I'm gonna do a yellow shirt. I've been feeling the color yellow lately. I love Stardew Valley. I love it. It's super fun. Okay. Are these like little blushies? That's so cute. That's so cute. We can like change the color of everything. I do, I have brown eyes, so that's good. And what farm should we do? I, I know that the Meadowlands is, I think, the new farm. <laughs> Tiger Barn. <laughs> Tigerton. Honestly, I kind of like Tigerton. I'm reading the Bridgerton series right now, so... <laughs> it kind of matches, which by the way, like, I'm... I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it. It's really good. I'm enjoying it. Would love to see the new farm. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about doing this. It's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love, and you start with two chickens. Mm, I think I usually do the forest one. I think it will be cool to try the new one. Oh my, there's new, there's so many new pets. There's so many new pets. I love this one. This one reminds me of Tundra. My kitty, which I don't know where she is. One of my cats is back there sleeping, but. <laughs> you love the Bridgerton books and the spinoff? I didn't even know that there were spinoff books. I'm just now getting into it. Okay, I feel like this hair could be like a little bit better. I think this is cute. I think this is cute. Have I done, have I selected everything that I need to select? I think so. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start this journey together. It kind of does look like Mary. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Okay. <laughs> I 
honestly my heart goes out to people who are allergic to cats i feel so bad for you now listen close there will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life you mean today <laughs> you mean today because like And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. That is so sad. That is so sad. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready now. <laughs> Don't worry, there'll be plenty of chances to name some animals and stuff after you guys. I don't know, I feel like indifferent towards the grandpa. I saw I saw Russ's video just like slamming him. <laughs> and it made me laugh. Hello Nikki, welcome in. How is it going? I've been loving your streams, Nikki. I'm always lurking there. Oh my gosh, look at me with my pink hair. It looks cute. Let's open it. Dear Tiger, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Tiger Tin Farm, is located in the Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't even remember which one is Lewis. Oh, this is already... I can already tell I'm about to get addicted to this game yet again. I played for like 90 hours straight and then I burned myself out, but we're probably about to start the cycle all over again. So cute. And there's all this new stuff from the 1.6 update, but to be honest, I'm not like the most expert pro Stardew Valley player, so I probably won't even notice. <laughs> I probably won't even notice what's different. Hello, you must be Tiger. Hi, Robin. Hello, Robin. Cute. Cute. Is this supposed to be the meadow farm? I feel like it looks exactly the same. <laughs> My reaction. <laughs> this dirty old place. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's still some good soil underneath that mess. Do you guys play Stardew Valley? If so, what's your favorite thing about it? Who's your favorite character? Mine was always Haley or Abigail. And here we are, your new home. Oh, Lewis is the mayor. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot who he was. I forgot his name. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. This is so wholesome. Oh, I love the sound of Stardew Valley. Like, the audio is so satisfying. All the sound effects. <laughs> Very rustic. Honestly, I don't know. They're making it seem like it's a, it's a dump. But this house is pretty cute. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt. Don't know. That is so rude. This isn't even that crusty. <laughs> you should try it, Shayna. It's so fun. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Okay. My hair is kind of like purpley pink. I think it's so cute though. I think it's still cute. Alright. 
let's get started on Tigerton Farm. <laughs> I'm hyped for this. Oh, I look cute. Got some hay. Is this new? I don't remember there being like a tutorial. Oh, the house looks cute too. These weren't here before. <clears throat> let's see what's going on. Well, let's see this farm. <coughs> oh yeah, so this is different. Oh, we already have a chicken coop. I guess I probably should keep some of this grass for our animals. <gasps> we already have two chickens. Is this a duck? Is this a duck? Here, let me put some hay in them in there for them to begin with. How do we check the name of them? Do we click on them? Oh, here we go. Dip. <laughs> Dip and chip. <laughs> That's so cute. I'll see you later, Michelle. I'll see you later, Lily May. Yes, I will be streaming on Thursday and Tuesday. Tuesday is the next stream. Tuesday is the next stream, which Tuesday stream is going to be chaos, so you guys should all be there. It's going to be crazy. All right, I'm just going to gather some stuffs, some stuff and things. I don't know, like, I'm just going to, I'm going to do just a casual gameplay here. I'm, I don't have any plan or strategy. We're just going to have fun and play some, some Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah, Chip and Dip need to stay. Hello, crab. It's Chip, Dip, and the next one should be Salsa. Indeed. Indeed, it should be. <laughs> See you later, Lily. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, this farm is super cute. I feel like it's better than the farm that I usually played on. I feel like it looks better. Let's clear out this pathway. There we go. There we go. Let's investigate this this farm. See what's down here. See like what does this blue grass even do? I don't want to destroy all the grass yet cuz I I don't know. Love the pond. I'm gonna get used to the farm, find my way around here. Okay, this should go down to Marnie's, so let me clear this out. This music is so good. I'm so excited for June because I'm going to the Stardew Valley like live orchestra, the concert. Um, and I'm so excited. My husband got me tickets for my birthday and It's like what I'm looking to most this year It's gonna be so cool It's gonna be so cool. See you later, Lisa See you later All right, so we need to harvest an egg from our chickens and greet every single person sounds like an easy task. Were there any eggs in here? I think that's just gonna have to happen tomorrow. Let me close this. Hello, Jake. No worries. Sorry about that. I missed your other message. Welcome back. We just started the new farm, but we haven't really done much yet. I'm about to go try to introduce myself to everyone. Oh, enjoy the lurk. Oh, am I already out of inventory space? I'm already out of inventory space. This is horrible. <laughs> How could this happen? I honestly haven't really kept up with all the updates that they made in 1.6, so I have no idea what to expect. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, a chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Hello. The, the name of the new farm is Tigerton. I know, it's super, super original and unique. <laughs> super, super aesthetic. 
Okay, I can't, I, I want to be grabbing stuff, but my inventory is full and I don't even remember how to update or upgrade my inventory. I think you have to buy a backpack from the general store. I'm just going to try to introduce myself to everyone so we can finish this quest. Hello. Also, in the in my first playthrough with Stardew Valley, like there were certain things that I got and I just like donated it to the museum because in Animal Crossing it's like your first everything needs to go to the museum, but I think in Stardew Valley you're not supposed to do that. I think some stuff is can we not introduce ourselves to them? Shane's hard at work, he doesn't feel like talking. But yeah, I feel like in Stardew Valley, I think there's some things that you're not supposed to donate first. <laughs> because they're really rare and hard to come by and you'll need them for other stuff. So I'm going to try to think. Think before donate. Think before donating this time. Yeah, see, the Dino Egg and Prismatic Shard, I donated both of those immediately upon getting them. And I still haven't found another prismatic shard. Hello, Abigail. See, oh, this is new, isn't it? I feel like I don't remember this. Okay, so like last time that I played, I was in between marrying Abigail or Haley. So maybe this time I'll marry Abigail. But I just, I love Haley. So how much is this? 2000G? All right, good to know. Can we not just talk to him? Hello, Pierre. Is there even a, is there a person in Stardew Valley named Harvey, or was I just making that up before? Okay, I think I'm gonna sell these mixed seeds, and I'm going to just buy some parsnip seeds so that we can start a little farm. Also, hydration check. My mouth is so dry. Oh yeah, Harvey's the doctor. I remember that. I remember that. Maybe I should go introduce myself. Is anybody even in here? Hello? I don't think so. We've already met a lot of people. Okay, let's go back and plant these. Oh, here he is. Hello. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a great game. I love Stardew Valley, like, especially once you, like, start getting going with your farm and stuff. Like, it's so addicting. I can play it for hours. Alright, let's clear out some of this, and then we can start our little farm. I'm not playing with, like, the wiki or, like, any sort of guide. I think I'm just gonna go for it. And just do what feels right. Okay, this should be enough space. I'm just gonna do five by two little farm. Plant all of the stuffs. Oh, I'll see you later, Mars. Thanks for hanging out with us today. It's been chill. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now, can we... Like, how do we... How do we play this game? I want to make a chest so that we can have some storage. I did not mean to make that. Um, I'm just going to throw it away. Um, okay, that was a waste of wood, but it's fine. So we need 50 wood in order to make a chest. That's going to be my next goal. My next goal. And I'm already almost out of energy. I forgot, like, the energy goes goes out quickly in this game. Oh, bless you. My cat just sneezed and it scared me. <laughs> It sounded like a human sneeze of like, hello, who's in here? So cute though. So cute. 
so cute. Okay, we almost have 50 pieces of wood. And I'm about to run out of energy too. Okay, okay. I'm starting to feel exhausted. Oh, I'll just get rid of this. Don't hate me for throwing stuff away. All right, let's just place that here. And we can start keeping some of this stuff in here. So our inventory stays cleared. I'm just going to try to clear this out a little bit. Oh, I forgot I don't have any energy. So let me not waste all my energy. Okay. Let's go back to the town. Because I still want to meet all of the people. Try to get all of our introductions done. Also check up here for any forageable items. Now, also the first time that I played this game, I made the mistake of selling everything and also not paying attention to what I needed in the community center, like for each season. And so the season would just go by and I would like not get all the fish that I needed or something like that. And then I would have to wait a whole another year. And it took me forever because I was not strategic about it. So I want to try to be a little bit more strategic this time. Okay, no one's even up here. But I'll go up here and see if we can meet anybody up here. Hello, Sebastian. Nice to meet ya. I think we already technically met Robin and Demetrius. Hello. And let's see if this the old guy is up here with the gray hair. Can't remember his name. Hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. It is such a cozy game. It's so cozy, like something about playing it is just it's a nice vibe. Oh, the, the time is going by quickly. It's already almost nighttime. I feel like we've been pretty productive, though, in our first day. Hello, Maru. Okay, 16 out of 28 people greeted. You really can't go wrong with cozy games. Like, nothing beats a cozy game. At least for me. Like, it's my favorite type of game is a cozy game. I think I've already met everyone down here, but let's go to the beach really quick and try to see if we can meet Elliot and maybe Willie. It might be too late. They might be not out and about anymore. I never like just like going into someone's house in Stardew Valley. I feel awkward to barge in. Whoa, what is this? A lost book? You found a lost book? The library's collection has been expanded? Okay. Is that new? <laughs> Girly Pop? That's a cute little farm name, honestly. Oh, they might be at the saloon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. Let's go check it out. Gosh, I remember playing this and having to have the wiki open at all times just to figure out where everyone like was because they all have pretty unique schedules. Which I honestly love, though. Hello, Clint. I think we already met Shane, but I'll just say hello to him again. Nobody's back here. Stardew Valley gives off Nintendo DS game vibes. I love that, honestly. My DS was like my life support when I was a kid. Hello, Emily. I also really like Emily. How many people have we met now? 17? We only met one more person. I think it was just Clint. Alright, let's just go to bed though. Let's just go to bed and start the next day. 
And then we can harvest a little chicken egg. And then we can probably go talk to Willy and get a fishing rod, I think. If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Um, I will sell this oyster, though. Let's shove all that in there. I feel like the house has more furniture than it did the last time. <laughs> yeah, this is my love puppy. Her name is Rosalie. She's a Webkins kins clip. <laughs> um, the Webkins love puppy is just like very special to me. The original sized one. So I got this little keychain one and put it up here too. It's super cute. I just looked for my Joy-Cons like, no, I'm not playing this on my Switch. All right advertisement i keep finding cool stuff but my backpack is full yeah that does sound like me just got back from a fishing trip you should come down to the beach sometime cool cool did not mean to do that but it's whatever but yeah i love the webkins love puppy like she's so cute you have a tiny squid hanging from your mic i love that I love that. I've seen a few streamers have little plushies or keychains hanging from their mic, and I just love that idea. It's a cute way to just add a little cuteness to the stream. Alright, I'm gonna chop some stuff down, get some more materials going. Oh, look at all the butterflies. This is a cute little farm. There's so much life here. I'm trying to work on clearing this space out. Hi, Kelly. Happy early birthday. Thanks for the love from Maine. How's the weather up there? How's your weekend going? <laughs> yeah, Marigold. Like, farming games are just my comfort, my comfort genre. Yeah, the sound effects in this game are literally the best. Like, <laughs> I love that sound. Okay. Let me just shove all this in here. I'm gonna go down this way and make our way down to Marnie's. Because we haven't met Marnie yet. Yeah, happy early birthday, Kelly. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. I love birthdays. Okay, visit the beach before 5 p.m. Oh, of course, it's not open yet. Of course. We can't go inside her house either. I, I think that's Penny. I could be making that up. Could be making that up. And we still haven't met Haley. Oh, let's meet this person. Hello, Vincent. And yes, I dig in the trash in this game. Okay, nobody's out and about yet. It's too early in the morning. Well, let's go stop by and say hello to Willie. You got some snow two weeks ago. That sounds nice. I wish it would snow here. I love snow. I'm <laughs> really just smoking a cig. Oh, but now it's full on spring for you. Same. It's like we've had some rainy weather, but honestly, the sun's kind of coming out right now. I heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. finally saved enough to buy me a new rod so we can have your old one yay i love fishing in stardew valley i know that it's like a hit or miss feature for a lot of people like you either love it or hate it i freaking love it i think it's so fun if it smells it sells Love that. 
love that. <laughs> All right. Time to do some fishing then. Ugh, these cozy Sunday vibes. <laughs> you love fishing until you lose the fish. Honestly, same. And by the way, I'm not playing with any mods. Hello, Jake. Welcome back. I know a lot of people play with mods. I have nothing against it for sure, but I still haven't beat this game yet all the way through. And I want to... I want to beat it all the way through, like, the first time with no mods. Even though it's so tempting because I've seen some really cute ones. It's definitely tempting. <laughs> Especially the ones that make, like, your farm look so much cuter. And you can get, like, cute clothes and all kinds of cute mods are available. But I just, I want to beat the vanilla game first. Oh my god, the focus is real. Also, is it true that if you fish, like, if you cast the max amount, that it doesn't change anything? Because, like, I'll be trying so hard to cast it the max amount, and I heard that it doesn't change your chances of getting a better fish or anything like that. If that's true, that makes me so sad. Ooh, a flounder. Mm. Yummy. I'm just gonna catch enough fish to fill up my inventory and then I'm gonna sell them. So that we can get some money. Because I really want to get the backpack upgrade. <laughs> Because having 10 inventory slots, but five of them are literally my tools, is... It's not fun. I wish that they had something like the tool ring in Animal Crossing. But I mean, I guess in Animal Crossing, the tools still take up inventory slots. I just wish that the tools did not take up inventory slots. Like, I wish that it was just a separate thing. Yeah, I just try the max bar still, too. Oh no. Okay. Yay. I can definitely see how people would not like this fishing, but something about it is just so relaxing to me, and I love it. Ooh, our first geode. Nice. Amazing. I went to an Animal Crossing island the other day that was like um stardew valley themed and they had like all of the stardew valley houses and everything like recreated on their island and it was so cool it wasn't for a video or anything i just saw it on reddit and i was like i want to go there it was super cool this fish is a little bit feisty and my little bar is so small there he goes he gave up Game of. You've got some new ideas to sleep on? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm just gonna sell all of these. Largemouth bass bait? I don't remember that. Is this new? The hanging fish? I don't remember that either. It's 2,000 G to get the backpack upgrade. So we might be catching quite a few little fish here. Oh, nice, Jake. Can't wait to see you in the Discord. I love all the emojis that we have in our Discord server. We have, like, all the best Animal Crossing emotes ever. That was an easy catch. See, like, part of me wants to go, go, like, all out and have, like, 
the guidebook, the wikis out, and keep track of everything in this game because I love doing that with a game. But then also part of me, and I think most of me is just like, no, let's just be casual and let's just take it day by day and just enjoy the game. I mean, you can still enjoy it the other way, but it's a lot of effort. It's a lot of effort, okay? Me and my mom used to play The Sims Castaway on, I think it was on Xbox. And we had like a little spiral notebook and we had everything like planned out and we were tracking everything. And that's just like such a wholesome memory for me. I love that game, even though that game is so cursed. Okay, let's go, let's go break open this geode. And then I might do some river fishing. Oh, hello, have we met you yet, Alex? Or this is Sam. This is Sam. And I think we already have met him. Oh, here's a bunch of people we haven't met yet. Hello. And this is Penny. Hello, Penny. All right, let's break this thing open. Nice. <laughs> nice, we got one piece of coal. 10 out of 10 experience. I'm so happy that we got a piece of coal. Totally what I was hoping for. <laughs> My character is so cute. I kind of like this darker pinky purpley color. I want to dye my hair so bad, but I'm so scared. I actually have purple hair dye, like... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. This isn't this isn't gonna work. Um, I actually have purple hair dye in my bathroom, but... I'm scared. It's tempting me, though. It's tempting me. Man, we're not catching anything good in this river. The one fish that I might have caught, I I wasted it trying to get the treasure. I'm so focused. Nice. A cute sunfish. Okay, I'm going to run back to my farm and put some of the stuff away. We're basically halfway there to saving up for the backpack upgrade. It shouldn't take us too long. <gasps> Haley! Look at she's just so beautiful. How can I not romance her every time? She's just so cute. She's just so cute. Honestly, she reminds me of my Spring Court Island. Haley is honeydew. If Honeydew was a person, it would be Haley. Okay. Let's just get rid of all this. We'll save that. And then I want to go back to um, the ocean and do some more fishing. Oh, my energy level is so low, too. I can't wait to have a horse already. Oh, there's Elliot. We need to meet him yet. Or we need to meet him. We haven't yet. Hello. Ah, uh, the new farmer we've all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. Interesting. And nice to meet you. How many people have we met now? 23. So we only need five more. We haven't met the wizard, we haven't met 
I don't know. Oh, we can't sell anything else to Willy because he's closed. I don't know who else we're missing. Oh, we haven't met, um, I think, like, Sam's parents, maybe? I hope you guys are enjoying the Stardew Valley vibes. Let me know. I guess we'll just have to sell these through the little drop box and then maybe in the next day we'll have enough money to get the backpack upgrade. Sorry if I keep messing with my nose. My septum piercing keeps like brushing against my face and it's making me itch. Yeah, really he's so cute just so old grandpa fishing so wholesome i love the sunset in this game when it starts getting dark it's so cozy i'm starting to feel exhausted all right i'll catch one more one more fish An anchovy. And now we start the long walk home. See, in this lighting, my hair totally looks purple. Maybe it's a sign that I should actually use the purple hair dye that I have in my bathroom. My inventory's full. I guess I'll just leave the trash. I just like dumped their trash can out. That's so mean. I feel bad. Oh, you haven't completed the game either, Kelly? Yeah, like I got pretty close, but I didn't even finish like the community center. I don't even know. Like I've somehow managed to avoid a lot of spoilers for Stardew Valley somehow, even though like everyone I know plays it and makes videos about it. I've somehow avoided all of it. And so I'm really excited to play it through and experience it all. Because what I have played, it, it's just so magical. Like, I love this game. All right, let's sell all this junk. I'll see you later, Shayna. Thanks so much for your help today. I love the butterfly wings that you have next to your name. They're so cute. That's like my favorite color for the membership little loyalty badges. Level one fishing, yay! We did do a lot of fishing. Okay, okay. We got like a little bit more gold. Wow, how has it already almost been two hours, you guys? <laughs> Time goes by so fast when I'm streaming, like it's honestly so shocking. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. See you later, Shayna. Have a great rest of your weekend. Oh, nice. It's raining, so we don't have to water our crops. Oh, shoot. I forgot to check on the chickens yesterday. I need to harvest their eggs. Hello. Okay, they still have food. <gasps> they grew up. Chip and Dip have grown up. Hello. Okay, so we got some money for that. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. Build a silo. I don't know exactly what we need to build a silo, so we should probably go talk to Robin and see. I'm just checking what recipes we have available. I'm just going to sell the eggs. Ooh, let's get this. Call me crazy, but I'm literally going to go back and put this in my chest. <laughs> so that we have inventory space. 
<laughs> Every rock counts, okay? Every rock counts. I'm just gonna head straight to the beach so we can do some fishing again and try to get this backpack upgrade. And maybe it would be nice if we could make even more than 2000G so that I could also get some more seeds and do some more farming. What is this? A muscle? All right, Willie, hello. I, I knew that he fished after work, but I didn't know that he was out here fishing before he started working. It's kind of cute. Hopefully he's not off today. And we can sell all these fishies to him. Because, like, one thing about Stardew Valley villagers is that they have chaotic schedules and they're never at work when they say they are. A halibut. But, yeah, they're never at work when they're supposed to be. But I heard that with the 1.6 update, Marnie, like, you can go and buy animals from her even when she's not there, which is great. But the real question is, can you buy hay from her when she's not there? Because that was my problem, is that I always needed hay. And then Marnie was never at her, at her place of work when she's supposed to be. But honestly, that's what makes this game so good, I think. One of my favorite parts is that the NPCs have their little routines. I think that's so cool. And it's not, like, completely random. Like, they actually go and do stuff at different times of different days. And it's super cute. I, I wish that Animal Crossing villagers had more, like, a routine like that. Because, like, they wander around your island and stuff, but it's just not the same. Yes, Kitty. I'm also convinced that Marnie doesn't actually work. <laughs> she is literally never there. Also, I only recently learned that your animals can graze on the grass on your farm. And I thought that they could only eat hay. That's one of the most stressful parts of this game for me is making sure that all my animals have hay. Oh, what time is it? 2.47. Okay, here's a fish. Okay, okay. I almost lost him. Okay, let's sell all of these. Hello, Willy. Oh yeah, look. We're making great progress. I almost have 2,000. Something about the grind of Stardew Valley is so soothing. <laughs> and so cozy. And I usually don't like games where you have to grind, like, a lot. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Stardew Valley is just very well balanced. Okay, hello, can I catch you, please? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was me. Yesterday, I forgot to go check on my chickens, but luckily they had enough hay. Luckily they had enough hay. You've got some new ideas to sleep on. See, this is new. I kind of don't like it because it just spoils it. I like it whenever I wake up and or go to sleep and it tells me that I leveled up and it's like a nice pleasant surprise. I don't like that it keeps spoiling it. But I'll get over it. <laughs> Here. 
here we go. My character is so cute. I like made my Stardew Valley character for this uh, stream's thumbnail on this really cute website. And I want my character to look like her, but I didn't see the hairstyle. Also, it was kind of hard to select the color. So I feel like the color is a little off. It's not as pastel. But maybe I can fix it. I think that you have to like... I think you have to like befriend the wizard and pay him to change your appearance in this game, which is fine, but... I kind of wish that you could just do it at any point. <gasps> yeah, that li little Stardew Valley portrait maker is so fun to use. I've I've used it a few times to make little profile pictures or whatever. It's just it's so adorable. It is so adorable. I just love the Stardew Valley art style too, like. I usually don't really like pixel art games. Like, I don't have anything against them, but I don't necessarily gravitate towards them. And I think that's what kept me away from trying Stardew Valley for so long. But I've grown to really love this art style. A sea jelly? I don't remember a sea jelly in the past. A rare jelly found in the ocean? It won't even let us sell the sea jelly. What do we, can we donate it? See, I do. I maybe I need the mod that um, tells you like <laughs> what items are. I saw someone have that, and that looks really helpful. Hello, Darth Vader. Good to see you. Yeah, I totally want to try playing a uh, haunted chocolatier when it comes out. I'm super hyped for that. If it's anything like Stardew Valley, like, it's definitely gonna be good. Oh, so the sea jelly is new. That's so cute. Enjoy your lurk, Jake. I wonder if I should sell it or if I should keep it. It won't let me sell it to Willy, though, which is interesting. How's your weekend going, Darth Vader? Okay, we're so close to, to being able to get that uh, backpack upgrade. I just need to keep an eye on the clock because Willy will close at 5 p.m. And then we won't be able to sell any fish to him. How did I miss that? Come on, little fishies, please. I need a backpack upgrade. And I don't even know when the... Oh. Up here's might not even be open. Isn't it closed on Wednesdays for some weird reason? I'm not even going to try to get the, the chest. I'm not even going to try. Oh, it's so cozy. I love Stardew. I love the rainy day, too. I love rainy days, but honestly, lately, I've been craving some sunshine. And, like, I can't wait for the summer. And that's pretty odd of me to say because, if you know me, I don't really enjoy the summer in Texas because it gets really, really hot. <gasps> we have enough. We have enough. I'm literally sprinting to go see if this place is open. But yeah, I don't really like the summer usually because it gets so hot. But something about this year, like, I'm ready. I'm craving the warmth and the sun. Which is unusual. Hello. Hello, Leah. I don't think I ever... I don't think I met Leah yet. No, I guess I, I must have. Oh wait, I don't know if we met Alex yet. 
Yeah, we haven't. And I don't think we've met his parents yet. So let's go say hi to them. Hello, Evelyn. And I don't remember your name. George, hello. <laughs> There's been so much rain lately. Yeah, it was it's been raining here a little bit too. Closed on Wednesdays. I had a suspicious feeling. I had a suspicious feeling. <laughs> you like summer because the pool is open. Honestly, like I love I like swimming, but public pools are just like they scare me. I think I want to sell the sea jelly, even though. It says a rare jelly. See, in the past I've done this and I regret it. So maybe I should get, I, I'm gonna sell it. I'm just gonna sell it. All right, I'm gonna waste all of my energy chopping down some trees and whatnot. And then we can go to the next day. There we go. Slowly but surely clearing out this little section of the farm. Also, I saw a screenshot earlier of somebody's Stardew Valley farm and they had like a giant crop on their farm. And I did not know that you could get giant crops. And I don't know how to do that, but I want to figure that out. Cause it looks so cool. It's not prismatic shard. Rare, don't worry, okay. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Level two fishing, yay. And we got some more money so we can get some more seeds. I think is what I'm gonna spend it on. Okay, let's water our crops. I'm gonna have to change the layout of this later once we install some sprinklers. I did not mean to water that. Oh, look at my chickens, they're so cute. I love them. Let's get their eggs. Hello, Chip. And hello, Dip. <laughs> Y'all are so wholesome. And let's just get rid of these eggs. And let's go get that backpack. Let's go get the backpack upgrade. And some more seeds. And then we're gonna wrap it up today. I can't believe it's already been two hours. I think it's because I played Animal Crossing for one hour and Stardew Valley for the next hour. Okay, it's not open till nine. It's okay, I'll go fish while we wait. But yeah, I think it's because I did half and half, so I feel like the stream went by quicker than it usually does. But I kind of liked it because sometimes I get a little bit burned out, like after an hour of playing Animal Crossing. So I think it's fun to do two different games in one stream. I feel like on Twitch, it's easier to do that. Like, but on YouTube, it's a little bit different. Like, so I'm, I'm excited to try it out. I'm just gonna fish until it's nine and then we'll go get the backpack upgrade. This music's such a vibe. I can't wait to go to the concert. I like, I know it's our, it's like in June, so it's kind of far away, but I'm already trying to plan out my outfit and I really want to just go all out and do an Animal Crossing themed outfit. I know that it's a Stardew Valley concert and maybe I should do like a Stardew Valley outfit, but something, I, I kind of want to do an Animal Crossing outfit because I feel like everyone there is probably going to be like Stardew Valley themed. But also, I don't know, like, what do you wear to an orchestra? Like, are you supposed to wear, like, more formal clothing? I'm not really sure. I've never been to, like, an orchestra concert. 
Thank you, Kitty. I'm so excited. New achievement. Nice. Oh. All right, let's go to Pierre's. Let's also dig in these trash cans. But yeah, I've never been to an orchestra, so I don't know. Like, are you supposed to wear like a certain type of outfit? All right, let's just let's get this. Animal Crossing mixed with Stardew. People cosplay even at orchestra concert for game. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. I think I'm gonna do like just an Animal Crossing outfit. It's just me, you know. Okay, we'll do ten more, ten more parsnip seeds. Well, actually. I'll get some cauliflower seeds too. Yeah, like, I don't know. I haven't decided. I could either cosplay as like a Stardew Valley character, which I think would be super cute, but also like a lot of effort. And then I feel like a lot of people will probably be cosplaying there. I don't know. I feel like I'll do the Animal Crossing outfit. Because I already have Animal Crossing shoes. And I have some Animal Crossing clothes. And a bag. So that would be easy. This is probably not the most efficient layout for a farm. But I'm going to make it work. Oh, the Sonic Symphony and Kingdom Hearts Live. I bet that was incredible. Both of them. I have never been to any sort of like game concert. I honestly have never even heard of that being something <laughs> until I saw the advertisements for the Stardew Valley one. And I was literally like so sad because they weren't coming to my city. Um, but then they announced more tour dates a couple of weeks later and they were coming to my city and I was like, oh my God. And I was like waiting for the tickets to go on sale that day. And I bought them instantly. Oh, uh, enjoy your ice cream. We're actually going to be wrapping up the stream right now. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I'm getting hungry and we've been streaming for a little over two hours, I think. But thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you to our members. Thank you to our moderators, even though I think they've all had headed out for the day. But thank you so much. And thank you to just all of our viewers for being here. It was so fun to start this new Stardew Valley farm. I think we'll be doing Stardew Valley Sundays um, with Animal Crossing. So keep an eye out. I'll be live on Tuesday. Um, we're going to be speed running Happy Home Paradise because I'm... I'm kind of bored of playing it, so I'm going to speed run it, and I'm not going to end the stream until we beat it, and um, yeah, so it's going to be chaotic, but it's going to be really fun, and you should tune in. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the stream, be sure to like the stream. It would, it would help me out a ton, and subscribe if you want to stick around. Kitty, thank you so much for hanging out. It was great to meet you. Selma, thank you so much. I loved playing Stardew with you guys. It was, it was really fun. If you want to stay in touch after the stream, be sure to join the Tigers Hub Discord server. It's super chill vibes. We're always hanging out. And I will see you guys in the next live stream. Bye!